I just saw some like, like little gust of something as if there were dust in the air. Why weird? I love that. I love JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Look at those. A charger is a fantastic thing, I realized, because I touched it, and it was warm. And it made me realize that there's something inside of this. This is not just a... It's not just a wire and a plug to an outlet. It's a piece of machinery, and it's got all kinds of, like mechanisms on the inside, all kinds of little diodes and the ions, or not ions, but lots of little, like, circuitry on the inside that makes it work, makes it work in a particular way that someone designed it to work for a particular purpose. In this case, it's a Nintendo Switch charger, so it charges the Nintendo Switch. But it's also got USB-C, so I just plugged it into my computer. But it's different than normal ones, because it gets hot, which chargers don't normally do. It says Nintendo on it, and it's got special warnings, and... I can't read the warnings right now, let me see. It says... Caution, atten attention, and attention. It's got English, French, and Spanish. Interestingly, French is written before Spanish. Usually they put usually they put Spanish, English, Spanish, French. Instead it's English, French, Spanish. So someone designed that and someone translated someone translated the warning. Someone wrote the warning and other people translated it. One person translated it to French. Maybe another person translated it to Spanish. This got there's a whole story inside of this little charger right here. There's a whole story. It's a creation, a, an idea, the idea of the Nintendo Switch, the idea of the charger that would make it work, the, the idea blueprinted and formalized and standardized. Then it was created in a factory somewhere with all of its machine little parts, and it must have been like opened whole, like a, as if you opened it's like a nut. Like, hold on. Like, a, sorry. And if you open it like a nut, there must have been like a, an inside. Then it was created the plastic covering and the metal, the metal cord, the metal like plug. And then on a factory, it was built. So it was built on the factory. Then it was shipped and it was put in a cardboard box and it was shipped into a store alongside my Nintendo Switch, which my friend Ryan's dad got for me. And then we paid him back. My mom paid him back. It was really nice, three hundred dollar gift. Anyway, three hundred like thirty dollar. Then, just for his his son's friend, it was really nice of him. And they were both waiting there. March, March fourth, March third. I think Mar yeah, March third. I'm pretty sure. March third, the March third, twenty eighteen, the release of the Nintendo Switch. Anyway, so this is. Shipped into a store, and then it was bought by my friend. See how there's a story behind how I got it? Then we got it in the store, and it, we used it, and we plugged it in, and played the Nintendo Switch. I haven't played the Nintendo Switch in a while. A long while. Weeks and weeks. Almost. Well, no, I guess I played it, like, a week ago. But before that, I hadn't played it for a long time. My friend Ryan and I really liked it, and we would play this game called 1-2 Switch. And it's like Wii Sports kind of, but really just like like Wii Party. It was very much a party kind of game with all different kinds of stupid little games. And it was fun. We played it on like a sleepover, and it was like 2 a.m. in the morning. And we were just laughing really loudly, and his dad was like, stop. <laughs> his dad was like, what were you? He like burst into the room. He was like, what are you guys doing? It's fun to just play games with friends. I wonder if I'll live long enough to be able to do that again, to just hang out with a friend and play video games. I never realized how, like, just how... how much of a gift that is. How amazing that is to be able to just meet up with someone, to be able to be around someone, one person in that chair, one person in that, and just talk and play games. I've had several people in this chair here. I had... Um, this girlfriend, Emily, I had. She was in that chair. And I think another girlfriend, Izzy, was there. She, I know she for a fact she was here. 
my friend Jeremiah was going to come over one time, we were going to play Smash Bros. Just how much in modern life stuff gets really, like, downplayed and we don't think much. We don't think much of a, things that are really huge. And now that we're in this quarantine, life is different. We're realizing, oh my gosh, how lucky we were. I hope we, we will remember that when things start to get back to more normal state. I hope we will remember the lessons learned from this time, the different perspective, the lessons they gave us. So anyway, back to the chord. All different types. So this wonderful little fantastic thing with all of its intricacy and all of its magic charging something is something that we don't even think about. We take it so for granted. But really, it's not for granted. This is something that did not have to exist, but it did. Just like a fun day out, just like the date, it didn't have to exist, but it did. It does. And it brings so much happiness and so much fun to so many people, so many children, and so many teenagers and adults and elderly. Isn't that such a wonderful story behind a little plastic rectangle? I want to think about more kind of things like that. The stories behind everyday objects. Thank you.